Captain's Log, Stardate 2159. This is Space Crew. Its continuing mission to defend Earth and humankind, to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat, and to boldly go where no crew has gone before. In this unique strategic space simulation. Hello, one and all, this is Luckless Love Locks, and welcome to a Luckless Looks at Space Crew. I'd like to start off by thanking Runner Duck and Curve Digital for the early copy to check out with all of you. The game does come out on October 15th, and I'll pop a link in the description so you can wishlist it, or you can even try the demo out yourself on Steam, if you're interested. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at the tutorial with all of you, just so we're on the same page, and then do some missions. I don't know how long the missions take, but uh, we'll find out together. Let's jump in, everybody, to Space Crew. I'm just gonna restart this. Athena Station, Low Earth Orbit 2159. Phasmid Invasion. Welcome to Athena Station. We have a mission that needs your immediate attention. It appears a module in a cons array by the moon is malfunctioning. We're not expecting any complications. This will serve as the perfect opportunity to go over some basic training. We need you to go and retrieve the module, repair it on your ship, and deposit it back into the comms array. Okay. Select your captain by clicking directly on them or on their panel. So here's our captain here, Jenkins. Select them and click launch on your captain station panel to take off for your mission. Let's do it. By the way, if this looks familiar to you, uh, if you've ever played, I think it's called Bomber Crew. This is the same developers and you can even apparently import your, like the grandkids or something of your characters, like the descendants of your characters from that game into this one. I never played Bomber Crew, but it looked really cool. And when I heard this was coming out, I was like, I gotta, I gotta try this out. Okay, deselect by right clicking. You could zoom all the way out. Isn't that cool? Or uh, pretty close in as well. And then we can rotate. Uh, let's zoom out. We can zoom all the way around. It's kind of got, this game kind of has like an FTL feel, but obviously like even more immersive because of the way that it looks. Uh, so we need to click the mouse wheel or press the space bar to toggle tagging mode. Okay. That's our objective, Earth, Earth and the moon. Okay, yeah, so we can like target stuff in this mode by clicking in the middle mouse button. And I think it said when you tag uh, a way, like a, a point in space, you'll you'll kind of just navigate your way to it. Press tab to enter fast forward mode. You can only use fast forward when there are no enemies around. Makes sense. And it looks like we can slow down time too. So if you need to work your way to an objective, you can speed up time. We're gonna exit fast forward mode. And I wonder, okay, so double clicking on them doesn't like zoom into the ship or anything. And what's kind of neat is it, depending on how far you're zoomed in or out, it takes like a different point of view, which I really appreciate. Everything's really slick in this game. When you're orbiting a tagged jump gate, you can charge for hyper jump. Press charge on your captain's panel to start charging. Let's get a good view at this. Okay. Charging for hyper jump. Power diverted to engines. Gustafson says that. You are charged for hyper jump. Uh, select engage, I think it is. Yeah. From your captain's control panel to jump to Earth's moon. So as you can see, all the other stations look like they're depowered. And I think we'll find out more about those stations as we go. Oh, that's neat. Some other ships around. You can see Earth. There's the moon there. All right, let's do it. Oh, we're at the moon. Okay. I see. So that's the jump from the Earth to the moon. We can see the Earth. Oh, that's neat. Looks like we've got some uninvited guests. Our scanners are picking up incoming phasmin activity. So these are the extraterrestrials that we're fighting against. We're uncertain how many are on their way, so make sure all your weapons... Weapon stations are manned. Okay, let's zoom in. Select your engineer by clicking directly on them. So we're gonna basically be sending everyone to guns. 
see them moving to different stations. And this is kind of how it's like FTL. So now that we're not at the stations that we're assigned to, those aren't active, so our ship won't run in the same way, right? Security officer, that makes sense. Mouse wheel or press the space bar. Okay, so now we're actually in the fight. So we need to target these uh, enemies, the Phasmids, and we'll just automatically fight. Man, we're killing them pretty fast. Is there more? Oh, there's more down there too. I don't know if like, are we no longer targeting that guy or that's the one thing I haven't really figured out. Looks like we took the other one out. Can I un... And I, I'm wondering also... Oh, now that we've tagged him, we can go into this mode and just watch the fight. Good work. That looks like the last of them. Repair the probe and return to base. Okay, I love the cons chatter. Tag the communications array to align with it. Okay. It's spacebar too, I think, right? Yeah, spacebar might be better for me. So we're riding over to it. We can speed up time. And it says select your engineer by clicking directly on them or on the panel, of course. Engineer that was in the guns and we're sending them to the uh, tractor beam station. And let me just see. So if I click on Jenkins, I don't have that. I have to actually click on Gustafson to get to do to retrieve the communication satellite. And then we need to send our engineer to the to repair the communications. Oh, so we have to do it manually. Okay, so we select the engineer and then click on that. And the communications array is going to get repaired. Can I speed up time? Oh, I can. Nice. Send them back. And I think we're going to be sending that back out. Deposit. I'm liking all these neat little cutscenes. You really feel like you're in the ship. And I like the art style, I really dig it. I think it was the Lower Decks that's uh, just come out that has kind of a similar cartoony, uh, cartoony version of Star Trek. Return to Athena Station by tagging the jump gate. Okay, well, let's send you back to your, your station. Can I? Oh, it won't even let me, okay. Yeah, locked for training, so it won't let me use the other guys. What I'm thinking is pretty cool about this is that uh, when I actually play like a real campaign, I can name the crewmates after uh, patrons and members. But I think if I do a full run of this, it'll probably be um, when it fully releases so we can all play together. Or you could play at the same time as I'm playing, I guess I should say we wouldn't really be playing together. Okay. There's the communications array, but where's the jump gate? Over there. Perfect. Now let's speed up time so we can navigate over to there quickly. You can see the sun. I don't know what that is. A different planet. When you're orbiting a tag jump gate, you can charge for hyper jump. Let's do it. We can see the, the hyper gate open up and there's like a disc there. Engage! I, of course, I'm going to be the captain. Doesn't need to be said. Tag the landing waypoint on the Athena station to land and complete the mission. I think this is a really cool way to do this, this tagging thing. Because you feel like you're targeting, but like it's not... It's not like too difficult to do. Like you're not actually aiming the guns or anything or driving the ship. It's just like a fast and quick way to maneuver around. But it still feels like you have some control, you know? The Wandering Sloth. <laughs> I just noticed the name of our ship. <laughs> Perfect. Communications array repaired. We get 100 credits and 500 research points. And the Wandering Sloth returns. So I wonder, 
What the? It, there's like this simulation aspect to it. I, and I wonder if he can get multiple ships. I like the names too. Poppy Jenkins. Look at the little uh, pale there, Poppy. Were you nervous? Okay, we're in the mess hall now. Two years since first hostile Phasmin activity. Leading to the United Defense Forces formation. Okay. So we've got one mission completed, zero crew members lost, 1,000 total credits earned, 500 research gained. You can see, actually, you're this dude's, maybe that's like a different alien uh, race. It's like these, like, they look like vampires. Two jumps completed, six enemy ships destroyed, zero enemy board. Let's take a look at the missions. This is the mission briefing room. Select a mission for your crew. Enemy forces at Phobos, which is a low risk mission. Oh, this is reminding me a lot of Star Wars. Enemy forces massing at Phobos must be taken care of. Wipe them all out. You get 1000 credits, 500 research points. Let's begin. Although this is a real combat mission, there are still a few features of your ship that we will need to try out. This is Wing Commander Lyra Winters. At some points during this mission, some control of your ship and crew will be locked for training purposes. This is another training mission. Okay, Jenkins. I wish I could find out more information about our crewmates. This must be like ship. So these must be shields. This is the uh, hull, reactor hull. Evasiveness, interesting. I know there is like a, you can like hire a new crew and stuff like that and they can, I think, train. So maybe that's where we find out more about them. Tagging mode, okay. Looks like we're headed to Mars. Waypoint locked. So who else could we, we can only select the captain. Level four, level eight, evasiveness. Okay, before you hyper jump, let's run through how your ship's reactor works. Select your engineer by clicking directly on them. We know how to do that already. This is the engineer's station panel. From here, you can modify a reactor output to the ship's different systems. Shields, weapons, engines, and gravity generator. Okay. Oh, neat. While charging for hyper jump, four units of power will be diverted and locked to the engines. This is like um, FTL also, where you're diverting power to different systems. Until it is upgraded, the reactor has only four units of power. So currently all your reactor power is being used to charge for hyper jump. Notice your energy weapons are showing that they do not have any power to operate. If we zoom out, we can see that too. Your gravity generator and shield recharger are also without power. After you complete your hyper jump, reactor output will be returned to the previously set balance and everything will be operational again. Okay, I think we're gonna be engaging. Beautiful Mars. Let's take a look. Ah, that red planet. What's this? Mars Phobos. Okay, they want us to select the engineer. Let's let's get on here. Try removing a unit of power from the gravity generator. Notice that your gravity generator is indicating that it has not got enough power to operate. I guess that's because, yeah, this isn't highlighted. Try adding a unit of power to your weapons. Energy weapons, like plasma cannons, require power in order to operate. They are more effective with more power. Okay. Oh, I missed that. Select your security officer by clicking directly on them or on their panel. This part I haven't done yet, so this is all new to me. Move your security officer to the ship's left weapon station by left-clicking it. Uh, is there a difference between... I know that there's, like, um, so there's energy weapons, and then there's, like, ballistic weapons. Energy weapons are better against shields. Ballistic weapons are better against hull. Oh, look at... <laughs> look at Das floating around. 
<laughs> Notice how your ship's security officer is difficulty moving around the ship with the gravity generator unpowered. Enemies incoming. Full ship and crew control has been returned to you. Set your reactor power to your preference and move your crew to weapon stations as required. Okay. So... We don't need gravity. I guess this is good. And we need uh, someone else Gustafson on weapons. Okay. Well, in tagging mode, let's tag these enemies. Nope, not there. There's more over there. Okay. Oh, we're not at the um, energy station, right? So. Did we take care of them? I think we did. So I believe, yeah, our shields were down. Forward shields were down, I think. Is there more enemy forces? Oh, navigate to Mars Phobos. Okay, let's send Gustafson back. So now that Gustafson is going <laughs> floating. Four shields restored. Okay. I believe if we have someone at the shield station, then they restore themselves. I'm not sure exactly where that is, though. All shields restored. So it says more weapons power increases the effectiveness of energy weapons. More engine power increases your ship's evasiveness. The gravity generator requires one unit of power to be active. More shields power increases the rate at which your shields recharge. Self-destruct! So what's... I guess we'll find out more about the other stations as we go. Let's go to Mars Phobos. We're going to be jumping to Phobos, which I believe is a, a moon of Mars. Is that it over there? Oh, new heading confirmed. I like that. Maybe we're going to be fighting some more... Uh, some more Phasmids. At Phobos. Charge. So I guess you don't want to be uh, charging a hyper jump when you're in combat. Unless it's like you're in a dire situation. Reach your destination. Setting balanced power output. Enemy forces at Phobos. Navigate to Mars Phobos. Clear enemies. Oh, there they are. I feel like we have enough people on weapons. Although, I guess it doesn't, like, we have the power set, so we could put Gustus in on weapons. We just send him back if we want to divert power to other things. Based on this, 8% seems really bad. Just me? So we might want to send, like, Gustus and Dish to divert power to shields, since there's no one fighting in the front there. Gravity, shields. See how much faster they recharge. More fighters incoming. <gasps> Damn, Phasmids! Yeah, see, there's no one in front of me, so I don't see any reason to keep someone there. Oh, now we're turning. Okay. Shields are at 100%. Let's get restore gravity. Get Gutsuson back. Nice. Combat support. I don't know what all this stuff is. Shields are getting low, but they're not attacking me there. Shields low! Get him, guys! I guess there's not much else I could do. I just have to depend on the crew, right? 
Phasmid fighter eliminated, says Hill. Okay, Casa Sim. Head back to your station. Mission objectives are complete. After completing your objectives, navigate back to uh, Mars, I guess? Return to base. Yeah, I wonder if we have to... Oh, I see. This is gonna, just going to send me to base. Speed it up. Okay. Jenkins, charge it up. And engage. I think we've all wanted to say that. So we do need to do multiple jumps. Okay. Before you return to Athena, we'll explain a little about your captain's piloting modes. Yes. I was wondering about this because I felt like maybe there was some way to make the combat more interactive. Like maybe we could do um, evasive patterns or something like that. Okay, currently as the jump gate waypoint has been tagged, you can see that waypoint locked is highlighted. Let's try canceling this waypoint. Uh, press patrol to cancel this waypoint and patrol the sector. More piloting modes will be unlocked as your captain gains experience. So we're gonna be patrolling. Notice how the jump gate was untagged. Tag it again to switch back to follow waypoint. Uh, continue the return journey. Okay. Let me just uh, speed up time. So we're just kind of like patrolling around Mars, I guess. Huh. Now we switched to uh, to the station to the jump point. Wait, what's H? That looks like healing. I guess if someone's damaged, we can send them to there to be healed. Charge it up! And engage! Tag Athena Station to land. Okay. I imagine I'm going to get pretty fast at this eventually. <laughs> I guess we had to do a weird maneuver. Jenkins isn't so good at piloting yet. I like that the loading times are really low too. We got what we uh, came for, the credits, research points. We got some levels or some experience. Aha! So they all leveled up, it looks like. We got attack, attack and defensive. I wonder if this is like randomized what we get. Reactor boost, shield replenish, focus fire and focus fire because they were on the guns. Maybe it's based on what stations they occupied the most. Ah, here, we were explaining it. Unlocked abilities. Uh, so for the captain attack, plots a course toward enemy fighters for a more direct confrontation. Captain, defensive, plots a course that keeps the ship's strongest shields facing the enemy. So these are different maneuvers we can, we can pick, I'm assuming. Engineer, reactor boost. Temporarily gives a small boost to the power output of the reactor. So let's say you uh, your shields are low and you want them to charge faster. You could do reactor boost and set it to shields to get them up. Security officer shield replenish quickly restores shields to full strength. Oh, so the security officer is the one that's responsible for the shields, I guess. Weapons officer focus fire heightens aim accuracy with a turret for a short period. I wonder if uh, enemies can board us and we do like hand-to-hand -hand combat like in uh, FTL. This game is obviously gonna get compared to FTL because it's it's pretty similar in terms of the basic mechanics. Light armored suit mark one, unlocked gear and upgrades. A very basic armored suit. It provides some protection without restricting the wearer too much. Battle helmet mark one. So there's gotta be there's got to be boarding parties. A combat helmet, it provides some protection without reducing mobility too much. Uh, armor boots protect the wearer somewhat at the expense of mobility. And gloves provide a little protection. That's it. I wonder, do I have to research those or do I, can I just get them? New gear. 
Oh, we're going to different parts. This is the crew gear room. In here, you can customize your crew's gear. Different crew gear will have different properties, such as resistance to damage, resistance to radiation, or improved mobility. Okay. Oh, I see. I have to click on the one on the side there. Oh, here we go. 24 years old. Previous occupation, asteroid mining. Favorite food, burgers. Captain level two. I'd like to find out, because like, if they aren't a different, this dude's quite pale. <laughs> if it's not like a different, like an alien race or something. Uh, maybe it's just the art style. I can customize. Oh yes. You can edit the characters and the names. I can totally get you guys into the game. That's sweet. Uh, so we can give you full, oh, full preset, I see. What if I want to remove this? Oh. I just right clicked. Standard issue equipment for your crew member. So this is going to be movement speed and this is like defense. Equip to all. Custom loadout. Oh, we can pick different things. And we can even customize the suits. It doesn't cost anything also. So this would be your Star Trek uniform, right? I love it. I wonder if you could make your own as well. Like this would be an awesome game for mods, right? Like make your own outfits. Cause they're, um, little, they're pixel art things. So they wouldn't be ultra difficult to make. Hmm. Well, well, we'll mess around with this when we actually play the game proper. But uh, I guess we'll just equip everyone. Seems good. Although we won't be able to move as fast. Uh, okay. So what about recruitment? This is the recruitment room. New recruits will come here to fill your crew. Crew ready. We've got a cap. I guess we have all of these people. Rescued crew. Bomber crew import. This is what I was talking about. Uh, about recruitment. I guess I can't. Oh, I gotta continue. Yeah, where did it say? Where was that thing about importing your your crew from the other game? Ah, uh, you you guys can you guys can look it up when you when you play this. There's a lot. There's a fair amount to read here, so I'm not gonna read all that. Uh, crew ready. I guess I guess if we need someone, we can pick a new crew member to to replace them on the crew. I, I don't know how all this works. Why is there an exclamation mark here? I thought I did this. I guess we're going to go to uh, to the next mission. No bounties. I wonder what those are. Oh, they even have those, like, the headgear, like, in, uh, on, uh, there's that character in Star Wars on the, uh, Cloud City that has this, this, like, headgear. That's cool. I like, I'm liking the references. Uh, okay, so we can transport supplies, or we can investigate phasmid activity. I guess we just did a combat one, so let's transport supplies and see what this is like. Phasmid activity has delayed the transportation of much needed supplies to the mining outpost. Safely transport the cargo pod to the outpost's besieged crew. Sounds like more combat anyways. Okay, let's begin. Now that we're decked out. I, I wonder if they're going to hold our hands now or are we just... Are we on our own? It seems like we're on our own. Before starting this mission, let's quickly go over some of the equipment on your ship. Okay, we're still doing tutorials. Oh, look, another another uh, ship. Cool. Equipment is stored in the equipment racks around the ship. You can customize your ship's equipment loadout between missions on Athena Station. I guess we're carrying this cargo that we need to transport, right? There are four types of equipment, spacesuits, fire extinguishers, phase rifles, and med kits. Oh, it's on fire. As a training exercise, we started a controlled fire at the back of the ship for your crew to put out. I'm gonna send Gustafson to do it. I'm not reading it, I'm just like, I, f I can kind of figure this out. So we walk over to the thing and then we click on extinguish fire. 
I wish I could zoom in a little bit closer and stow it away. Occasionally, your engines may become damaged. This will cause them to leak radiation into your ship, harming your crew. To repair your engines, you'll have to send a crew member out of the ship. Make sure they pick up a spacesuit before going out. Oh my god, could you just send your crew out without a spacesuit and they die? We marked an engine as damaged. Let's try out repairing it now. Okay. So I wonder if we, I'm curious, we divert power, more power to gravity, do we move faster? Probably not, eh? I don't think really that's how gravity works. So I just do this. Oh, neat. Oh, we can speed up time. An engineer will repair faster. Wait, who's this? Oh, okay, I thought that was another ship. That's just the, the jump point. <laughs> I'm a bit high strung. Okay, let's send him back in. Uh, so we can put this away. Cool. You'll need to use phase rifles if Phasmids board your ship. Oh, I love it. If one of your crew is incapacitated, you can revive another crew member by using a med kit. Okay. That's the end of items training. Continue with your mission. Self-destruct. Okay, so we need to jump. Fastest route. Oh, it tells you the fastest route too. Neat. Setting new heading. Could see the planets. There's Mars. Okay, charge it up and engage. Ooh, the asteroid belt. Increase enemy activity. Asteroids ahead. Setting balance power output. Enemies incoming. What, do we just, are we going to be able to navigate this belt on on our own? I don't see them, guys. We're probably going to take some damage, right? Phasmid fighters! Where? Oh, there they are. Oh, cool. We're going to fight in the asteroid belt. Holy shit. Uh, defensive? I need to get someone to shield. Wait, wait, where's my, where's my... Okay, there's that gun. Is there a shield station? I guess not, eh? Okay, let's divert power away from gravity to shields. Uh-oh. Let's go, uh, attack! Oh my god. Getting destroyed here, guys. Gus the Sin, get back to your station, man! No, Jenkins! Oh my god. But if, I think if Jenkins isn't at his station, he's, uh. We're not gonna move. Okay, go defensive. I believe defensive will, will turn our, uh. shields towards them, right? Oh God. Attack! Oh, I wasn't targeting them. Oh God. Are we taking any damage? Not really. Okay, defensive. Okay. Reactor is taking damage. Needs to be repaired. Okay, Gustafson, get there. You know what? Shield charge rate. Oh, replenish shields. I'm going to send you to a gun also after this. Okay, Gustafson's repairing stuff. 
Okay, let's go attack. Also, I'm gonna send Gustus into the other gun. Oh no. They're being targeted, right? Okay. Okay, go defensive. Turn the shields towards them. Attack! There's two left. Okay, do we have any... We haven't taken any hull damage. Oh, Gustafson needs to repair. Reactor health. Oh, I see. There's there's the uh, reactor health. Okay, so it's almost back up. One left. I think we should be fine. Okay, I think we go... Oh, we got it! Go back to patrol. Okay. To objective, the asteroid belt series. Did we go through the asteroid belt? Let's send you back to shields. Gustafson, go back to power. And, uh, shields are back up. Das, so what could Das do? Replenish shields. Purge all. Interesting. Okay, let's charge. I'm going to the next spot. And engage. More asteroids. This is Captain Mulgaru of the Destrier. We are under attack. Please help us. Okay. The Destrier. Oh, in the middle of the asteroid field, it looks like. Oh, I see them. Okay, let's get people onto uh, the guns. Oh, no. Defensive! Turn the shields. That's cool, you can see the damage. Okay, attack. Oh, is there more? Okay, I think we've got them all. I might need to go back and uh, charge up the shields. Send Daz. Oh, God. Gustafson, get back! Oh, Gustafson, you gotta fix the O2! Get back to guns. Are we? Do we have everyone targeted? Okay. Man, this is stressful. We got shields back up. Gustafson's working on the O2. Looks like there's just the one left. Wait, did we target the Destrier to, to be attacked too? Okay, how are we doing? On Okay, Gustafson's repaired everything. Let's get you back on the guns. It's kind of stressful, guys. There's a lot to do. That seems to be the last of them. We are ready to receive the cargo now. Okay. Oh, the land. Oh, I see. There's two targets. There's the landing pad and then the Destrier. Neat. Shields are restored. Jenkins? Did Jenkins take some hits? Cargo secure. Thanks for the prompt delivery, Captain. Have a safe journey home. Is this our health? Can we, uh, can we, like, go heal ourselves? Let's send Hill here. See how this works. Oh, there's capacity. Just 
speeding up time. Oh, I can't accelerate time. Might as well just heal up a little bit with some people before we uh, continue on. Schmidt's pretty low too, because you're these were these guys are in the guns, right? So they've been taking the most hits. What's this, this freaking weird music? <laughs> I love it. Okay, good enough. Let's return to base. Jenkins, let's launch. Oh, and the ship's kind of like battered up. Oh, I, I love those little touches. Fastest route is over here. This, oh, I see. We can pick the fastest route or the safest route. I want to go to Venus. Oh! Oh, shit. Rear shield. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, Daz, can you get over on that? So why fully recharge? Why wouldn't I always do this? Is there a cooldown for it? Emergency. Huh. Oh, I see. Now it's on cooldown. Okay. Makes sense. All shields restored. We're still heading there. Charge it up. Everybody now engage. Oh, cool. Okay. Is that, uh, that must be Earth there. Venus. Enemy fighters? What? This is supposed to be the safe route. They lied. Maybe there's more shit. Maybe there's more fighters the other way around. Uh, okay, we've got everyone on guns, so let's go uh, attack. Our shields are full. There's only four of them? Oh, there's different kinds of ships. Can I see what they are? Oh, they've got like enclosed lasers. What is that? Uh oh. Defensive. Yeah, skin on the shields! Replenish! Go sent. Divert power to shields! Oh, okay, they're back up, they're back up. Go, go, go! Jenkins, on attack! Wow, that did so much damage. Your shields are low. Oh, something has to be repaired. Oh shit, there's a fire! Gustafson! Extinguish! It's a good thing I kept uh, gravity on. Shit! Defensive! Oh no, Hill's taking some serious damage. Okay, let's go back. Go, uh, attack! Shields restored. Good, 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 good. Abandon ship! No. <laughs> oh my god. Hill's almost dead. Hill, we're gonna have to send you for healing. Oh, Gustafson, repair. Oh, we didn't put this away. Uh, stow it. I don't know if that makes a difference. Oh, we gotta put the spacesuit on. Let's try it out. Oh, we're taking severe damage. Okay, he'll get back on there. Hey, actually repair that. Is he gonna get shot? He's repairing the nacelle. Oh, there's more targets that I haven't been targeting. Okay. Oh crap, this is actually pretty hard. Because this almost repaired it, but he's taking some serious damage. Hill, you're supposed to repair this. Gustafson, get back in there. Get some healing. Okay, Hill, get back to your station. Das? I think we need to repair our shields. Replenishing, replenishing. 
Uh oh. Okay. Cuts us in. Stow that. Okay, there's just one left. Okay, you've been stowed. Get into there. Let's go on offensive. Attack. Yeah, it's really good that you don't have to, uh, you don't have to focus on actually shooting because there's enough to manage in the ship. Wow. That was intense. Okay. That was the easy way too. Or the safe way. So the back of our hull is damaged. How do I repair that? Maybe we can't during the uh, during the missions. Because I repaired the nacelle. Or maybe I didn't repair the nacelle. Yeah, I don't see any way to... There's, n there's nothing else to repair, it looks like. Okay, Jenkins. Let's charge it up. And engage. This is pretty fun. I actually didn't expect it to be this intense. And now returning to base. Good old Athena station. Look at the look on Gustafson. Gustafson doesn't look too happy. Actually, none of them really do. Are you serious? There's more. At Athena station? Uh-oh. Two down there also. Uh oh, it's the big guys, I think. Oh shit, what is that? Gustafson! Get to your station, man! Whoa! What the fuck? Uh oh. What am I doing? I'm panicking. Defensive? Okay, they're all tagged. Uh oh. Whoa! I almost ran into that. Are you getting up ahead again? Oh, the shields are down on him. Oh, cool! That's what we destroyed last time. Very, very neat. They seem to be coming up in front of us. Maybe they're trying to board. We're doing fine, though. Beautiful. Okay. I thought that was the end. Maybe I could send like, let's send like Lugo to heal. Actually, go go return this Lugo. I think you're on communications. It's It's nice that you can't just like heal indefinitely. Okay. Ready to charge. Wait, did I go to the right spot? Oh, okay. That, oh, I thought we were back at the uh, the base. I thought we were already at Earth. But I think we're at the moon station. Yeah. Engage! Beautiful. Let's get in there. We are going to take a well-deserved rest after that mission, because that was a little tense. I'm liking the triumphant music also. All the <laughs> look at all the bird marks. The wandering sloth has seen some stuff. Be a pirate too? Maybe later. I hope you can become a pirate. Supplies transported. 2,000 credits, 1,000 research. Level. Oh, we're just missing out on level seven. We unlocked gear. Standard plating, mark one. Ah, oh, I'm replacing for a ship. 
Plasma Cannon Mark II fires bursts of highly charged matter. Effective against energy shields, but less effective against ship hulls and armor. Requires reactor power to operate. Spacecraft. Okay, there's still an exclamation mark here. Not quite sure why. Basic equipment. Oh, I see. It's because there's a new uh, new boots that I didn't check out, I guess. Makes sense. This is the spacecraft hangar. In here, you can upgrade the equipment on your ship. You can also customize the appearance and name of your ship. Oh, they thought of it all. This is exactly what I want to do. Although, to be honest, the wandering sloth, I don't know if I can come up with a better name than that. Three missions alone, 10,500 total value. Front armor. Oh, neat. And it actually, does it change the way? I couldn't really tell if it changed the way the ship looked. Refund. Oh yeah, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of an extra plating on the front. Okay. Just want to see it all. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. I definitely need the rear armor. <laughs> That's where I was getting, taking all the damage, I think, in the rear. System, standard shields mark one, gravity generator mark one, oxygen, balance reactor mark one, medical bay mark one. Weapons. So we've got plasma cannon mark one. This is in the front, I think. Oh, front weapon, yeah. And then we've got auto cannons on the side. Connect firearm weapon that delivers 20 millimeter caseless rounds and bursts at a high rate of fire. Effective against ship hulls, less effective against en against energy shields. I see, so we might want to have our gunners go to the energy weapons until we get the shields down and then switch to the to these ones. Don't have enough for that one. Escape pods. We only have one escape pod? Probably for the captain. Equipment. Phase rifles. Fire extinguishers. Oh, it's all customizable. Livery. Is it livery or livery? Oh, this is like your um, overall ship. Next colors. Oh, cool. Paint job. Custom colors. Customize. Oh, yes. You can do it all. Built-in colors or custom colors. Neat. Okay. I think this is uh, in rename ship. I think this is uh, a really good look at um, Space Crew. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you'd like to see me play a full... Uh, a full run of this. I think I'd like to um, on release day, the 15th. Uh, I always ask on, uh, well, this isn't a series, but if you did enjoy uh, the first video of a new series, I always ask, since this is the first video and the only video for the Luckless Looks At, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It allows, it helps uh, other people to find my channel, to be honest, and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. Um, and I hope you enjoyed yourselves. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now. I'll see you on the next one. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see more of this, and I love you all.